Okay guys, so I've got, this is update two. <laughs> I thought I'd bring you along with me. I'm getting ready to drop that out of there. I got one bolt in there and it's loose. So I'm gonna try to bring it out slowly because I know a bunch of stuff's gonna drip down into my pan or flow down into my pan, bunch of transmission fluid. Uh, it's weird because the driver's side, which is the left side axle over here, it goes into the transmission. The right side, passenger side axle, goes into the transfer case, and the transfer case goes into the transmission. So it's pretty, pretty simple setup, you know. So it comes out of the transmission, turns this axle, turns the transfer case, which turns that axle, which turns the drive shaft, which turns the differential in the rear, which turns the two. I know it sounds a little more complicated than what it is but it's not really complicated at all so I'm gonna go around there I'm you know I'm gonna try to let it drain as much as I can and then I'm just gonna try to lift it down out of there I'll move that pan over I know I'm gonna make a mess but it's inevitable when you're on the ground like this so I'm gonna go around and like I said drain what I can let drain and then I'm just gonna lift that thing down out of there um, I don't think I'm going to use a jack, so uh, shipping weight's 66 pounds, so I don't know. Let me get around there, guys, and let's get this pig out of here. Here we are, she's out. <sighs> yeah.
All right, so I'm just gonna let this drain a while. But first, I'm gonna drag this pig out of here. Ow. So we can take a better look at it. Alright. Here she is. Yeah, that's not good. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and take these, take this off, see if I can get this to come out of there. Then we'll see. I'll kick you back on when I get ready to pull this up out. Let's see what happened to this thing, man. All right. So. Yeah, there's where it lives, up in that hole. Okay. I'll kick you back on in a minute. Hang tight, guys. Okay guys, so I pulled that nut off there and I was tapping this and this popped up, so I wanted to wait. We're gonna look at this together, ready? That's a bunch of... That's metal. Toast, roasted and toasted. Oh, my. Wow. So, what I think happened is that piece of metal I just pulled out. I'm not sure, but I think that's a retaining clip. Bang or something went bad. That shouldn't do that. We'll know more once we get the side cover off. I'm not going to take that off today, but we'll take that off and take this apart and see exactly what happened. But that's this is all metal metal shavings here. That's what that is. Yeah, that gear's been... Ugh. Yeah, it's been making some noise. She said it started making a weird noise. You know, 
I was thinking the rear end was making a noise, but you know, it could have been that noise could have been following the drive shaft back, but I don't know. I, I'm still going to get the rear end up in the air and make sure it's not like locking up or something. But I think whatever happened happened inside of here. That's a fluke thing. I thought we'd see a busted gear, but I'm not seeing busted gears. My guess would be that looks like, honestly to me, that looks like lack of maintenance. It almost looks like it was run empty. So, always run maintenance on your stuff, guys. Always. This takes a 90 weight, so. Wow. All right, guys. I'll be back with you as soon as we get the other one unloaded. Well, as soon as it gets here and we get it unloaded. Hi, you are currently being recorded. <laughs> Alright guys, it's Scott here. It's a little after four, so I probably won't put it in tonight, but let's open this up. Let's check this out. <clears throat> see if it's what we ordered. Well, and see if we ordered the right thing. Doesn't fit, not working, arrived damage. We offer free returns. They do. It's got a six month warranty or a 30 day return. should be Let's see what the tag says it's from <coughs> Seymour auto racking now this is actually out of a uh, 2011 enclave but it fits a whole bunch of different stuff um, See, ours is 2010. It looks a lot cleaner than this one. I'm wondering if that one, ours hadn't been out at one time. Of course, this does have a lot more miles on it than ours. But, yeah, that seems to be, that seems to be the, the guy there. Both shafts turning. Yep. Awesome. All right. Well, there we go. Check that seal. That seal looks pretty good. I think I'm just going to clean it off and reuse that seal because that seal's like 
twenty-seven dollars or something. I'll put some. I'll clean it up real good, and I'll put some stuff around it to help seal it. But that looks like the deal. I'm not gonna put it in tonight. I'm running out of daylight. And uh, I actually contacted these guys. It was late at night, but I sent a message through eBay, and I thought, you know. Uh, they'll get a hold of me tomorrow sometime when they get a chance. Well, it was about a half an hour later they got a hold of me because I asked about how many miles was on it. And they said it's 197,000 miles, but it has been tested. It is fine. But they, he also, he did say again, he said, you know, we got six month, you got six month warranty on it. And you also have a 30 day return. So, hopefully we won't have any issues with it alright I think I'm just gonna leave this up here it should be alright if it rains I got everything else picked up so yeah I'll get that up in there I'll drain the fluid out whatever fluids in it because you know it's out we might as well just fill it up with new because it only takes uh, 2.1 pints which is just over a quart so yeah, that's you know, ours looks a lot, a lot cleaner. Of course, you know, this came from Connecticut and it does have a lot more miles, but I'm just wondering if ours wasn't put in at one time. I'll have to go over the service. There's he's got the original owner had service service records on it, but I don't remember seeing anything about a transmission transfer case. So, but uh, yeah, this seems to be. Okay, this, yeah, this one will fit right up in there. Take a look at the bottom here. Yeah, there's the two bolts down there. And three up here. Two here. Yeah, okay. Alright. So. Alright. I think that'll, that'll do it. Alright guys, hang on a second, I'll be back with you. Alright guys, so there's your update for today. I'm going to throw that up in there tomorrow. So, yeah, our, uh, our gear oil, it's not going to be here till Thursday, so i got to get some gear oil. And, of course, i got to get some transmission fluid, because you saw we lost probably a quarter or two there. Um, what I'll do is I'll measure that out. I've got an empty quart container over there an old oil container and I'll fill that up however many times once once and a half whatever and then I'll know how about how much to put in it um, that's transmission fluid so yeah let's see the porch pirates come try to take this one away <laughs> grab it and, yeah let's see that all right guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate it thanks for all your support uh, so monkey's mom's not doing very well they got to put her on dialysis she had to have that thing done to her today and then she was in in dialysis and then they, if, if you guys aren't aware what that is it's, you know she'll probably have to go in three to four times a week for two to three hours or whatever it is and uh, it cleans your system or whatever it does but you know well, better than the alternative I guess right and once you start that you can't stop I mean you can but chances are you'll probably die if you stop dialysis so you know your life depends on that so anyway so she's out there right now the neighbor right next door here um, he came up and took her yesterday and went and picked her up and then uh, she came and picked her up earlier today and took her out so I figure they'll be bringing her back um, probably about dark time because you know they're they're getting up there in age and they can't see that well after dark so all right guys again thanks for watching appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now and tomorrow we're gonna get this up in there and try to get what we can buttoned up um, I'd like to have it done tomorrow but we'll just have to see you know because once I lift that thing up in there you know, that's, that's a lot of work, man. 
<laughs> you know, I carried it from over there. A guy brought it in his own car because uh, he broke a leg at work, I guess. Fell out of the truck or something out of the back of the truck. Was, you know, doing his job and he's got pins and screws in his legs, so he's kind of like on light duty, but. So they they gave him his car. He said, "I got I got the uh, he says uh, I got the heavy award today. <laughs> That's the heaviest package. He had one more to go, and he's two hours ahead of schedule. So that's good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he said he's 57. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye, guys. Take care.